for letting me tag along today. I feel better already. But man, fighting demon hordes is almost as exhausting as fighting Avengers. <sighs> Forgot how relaxing it is to just zone out and watch a good movie after a long day of battle. You seem to be adjusting well after... I don't want to talk about it. So you want to join us? That sounds lovely. All right. Wanda, are those three women witches? They are. They do not seem like witches. That's because they don't know they have powers. Yet. And if they did, they would be wise to hide them. Reminds me of how all the witches tried to hide themselves in 17th century Salem. Times really haven't changed that much. If there is one thing I know for sure, it is that power frightens people. And when people get frightened, well, you know, you literally lived around the times of the Salem witch trials. I was a young child, but yes, Caretaker and Agatha were terrified of being found out in those days. I know the feeling. <sighs> Sometimes I just wished I was, you know, normal. Things would have been... There are also times when I wonder what my childhood would be like if... If you weren't born, you? Basically, yes. Agatha always encouraged me to accept myself, but then... <sighs> you know what? I don't want to distract you from the movie. We're just getting to the good part. Are those witches actually charmed by that awful man? Well, he is the devil. Sort of. Then why do they not just turn him into a toad or banish him? Because they're good witches, Hunter. Like I hope to be one day. Thanks for coming out to meet me. You wanted to talk? Yeah, I actually wanted to ask you a question, if that's all right. Ask away. Why are you being so nice to me? I mean, I was your mortal enemy at some point, and I was the one who, you know with Agatha. Wasn't expecting you, of all people, to warm up to me. We all make mistakes, Wanda. And we all deserve a chance to make up for them. Well, I've made some pretty big ones. Some would say unforgivable, even. Not sure if you noticed, but everyone seems to be afraid of me around. That is not true. Nico and Magic are not afraid of you. And neither are Robbie or Blade, for that matter. Yeah, they are. They just don't want to hurt my feelings by showing it. Anyway, I just wanted to say... Thanks for not hating me. Or... something along those lines. I'm glad you're here. You too, Wanda. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have brought it up. I disagree. Your theory is sound. We must know the truth. Wanda already took Agatha from me. I'll be damned if I let her take my child. The one standing behind you? Oh, damn it. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just wanted to help. How? I spoke with Doctor Strange about your visions. That got me thinking. The last meeting, specifically the moment of your death, I don't think that's where your life ended. The last time we did this, something felt off. Good, you felt it too. There is a subtle magic at play. It clouds your perception, distracts from what is real. Why are you so certain? I felt it twice before. Most recently, when I was under Lilith's influence. And the first time? <sighs> when I killed Agatha. I had no warning I'd lost control until it was over. Something masked the danger from me, from her. It was not your fault. No matter what Ileana wants to believe, I am responsible for Agatha's death. I can never make it up to the Midnight Suns, to Sarah, to you. But I will do everything I can to make things right. My magic works by creating what I most desire. It can also strip what is illusion from what is real. You deserve to know what truly happened. 
Please, allow me to help you. I am ready to proceed. All right. What is your last memory before your death? Lilith trapped me with the Darkhold. I could not move. Then I shall remove the veil. And now, your death is revealed. What do you see? Lilith approaches. I have never seen her so determined. And now, child, you shall be free. Still creepy. Indeed. I cannot move. Yet I hear myself shut. What the? My body lurches toward her. None of it my doing. Ah! Lilith struggles against her own limbs, but cannot control them. My hand reaches for the Darkhold. I see fear blossom in my mother's eyes. I touch the Darkhold. No! Stay Pain back! washes over us both. The world flares white. And then, there is nothing. Okay, what is with that voice? And who directed the hunter's movements? Someone who could hold Lilith in place. That's alarming. I'm sorry. There's nothing more. That's when the hunter died. Don't apologize. You showed us what we could not see. Still can't believe all these changes happening with Eddie. Uh, the Venom symbiote. Not sure if you know this, but I used to wear that thing. I mean, it was hard enough when it was just an alien, but now... I'm pretty sure that green fire would have really cooked the old spider keister. Having that creature inside of your head must have been difficult. You would think so, but to be honest, I didn't even know the suit was alive until the end. It's more like I felt urges, impulses. To do what? Use my power. Like, really use it. No holding back. But, end of the day, I was the one still in charge. Any decision I made during that time is 100% on me. So you are defending the carnivorous alien monster that is trying to devour your brain? <laughs> you want to know the first real feelings I ever sensed from that thing? Fear. As soon as I tried to pull it off for good, it was pure terror at the thought of being alone. That doesn't sound like a monster to me. I had not thought about it that way. Why it chose to bond with a shifty reporter from the metro section after that is beyond me. I still cannot imagine you wearing the symbiote. My design was a bit more classic than Eddie's or your mother's. All things aside, I look pretty cool in that thing. Been thinking about bringing it back. The design, not the cannibalistic alien symbiote. It's not just the Southwest. Look. A rise of Hydra movement in Eastern Europe. Are you seeing... Holy disturbance in the Force! Not too holy from the feel of it. Quite the reverse. Oh. Wake up, kid. If you're getting this, well... We gotta have us a little conversation. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. I'm listening. In person. Here, at the Mesa. And I need your pit crew, too. Counting on you to bring them. So don't screw it up. What do you mean something is up with Limbo? More soulless? A little more detail would be appreciated. That's all the detail I can give. But do not worry. I'll stay behind and figure out what's going on. Please do. And next time you sense some kind of danger with Limbo, come talk to me about it first. Korasho Bumir. What did you just say? Ahem. <clears throat> just tell the team I will be watching over them. <sighs> Don't look at me like that, Rox. Time for this story to end. One way or another.
Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. Just like you said. And your crew? Good. Because I got us a plan. You want to stop that nasty mama of yours? Stick with me. And keep your traps shut. Who in the Ten Hells do you think you are? Ten? I'm the guy with the answer to your prophecy problem. <laughs> We good now. After you. of yours running around off-leash, can't we? He's leaving you in good hands. Well, not good. <laughs> you understand. Okay, I get it. Actually, I don't. What's the plan here? Hunter's written all over that page, kid. Further we keep him from the Midnight Sun, the better. And this place is further as it gets. So, what? You, you dump him off in hell with the freaking devil? Limbo with Mephisto. There's a difference. You do realize I can hear everything. Bastard wants Kathan back less than we do. Count on that. Coward. You two deserve each other. Hate me all you want when we get home, kid. But it's the only option. I'm not going anywhere with you. He's got a point, Johnny. Our arrangement was for you. Don't get cute with me, you Oh, I'd love to see the look on his face when he gets back. But, first things first. Let's see if you're worth all the fuss, shall we? Just getting started. Good. So am I. Usurper! You forget. You are not the ruler of Limbo. I am... Iliana. Nicely done. You always were so gifted. So gifted, you stole me from my parents. Twisted me into a living weapon until I cast you from this very realm? I mean, yes. This is starting to sound familiar. I have reopened Blaze's portal, as well as a few others. Mephisto and I have some catching up to do. Ah, a minor inconvenience. Of course. I thought I had lost you, child. I am pleased you... The page! He carries the page. Retrieve it for me! Come and get him.
already feel that page twisting inside me, you know? Who's to say I won't? You are not Blaze, Robbie. But I led you straight to him. Played right into his little game. If Eliana hadn't been there... But I was there, Robbie. As you are always for me. It is time we go home. I'm gonna find him. Blaze. And when I do... I'm kind of busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's got to be done. If I don't, no one else will. You were hiding out here from everyone. I know this must be about Blaze, his betrayer. I don't really want to hear his name right now. If there is something you need to get off your chest. You mean like the parchment? No, it's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. Look at me. You've gone through so much, and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk. Almost as bad as an Avenger. <laughs> You're not that bad, Ileana, I promise. Liar. I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself doctor. Don't be so hard on yourself. You saw your tormentor today. That couldn't have been easy. It's good to have you back, sister. It's good to be back, sister. We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours. Mephisto was behind the Solus? Why did you not tell me, Ileana? Because I didn't know for sure. It was not easy to face him, you know. But the support of my friends, like you, gave me the strength to do it. In a way, I owe him everything. Even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child. Gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. Ileana... Are you feeling guilty for what you did to him? Me? Guilty? <laughs> no, never. I will never let guilt weigh down my conscience, and neither should you when it comes to what you need to do. Take care of your mother in the end. Don't hesitate, and don't show mercy. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Good night, Hunter. Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old Spirit of Vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. No one ever said our tasks would be easy. Especially now. I get it. It would just be nice if the price of failure wasn't, you know, the end of the world. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, 
when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it, and that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. I do not know what Blaze read. I am not a mind reader, nor are you. Which is why I am asking you to trust me. Forget what Blaze said. Forget what could be on that parchment. I can't just forget it, Hunter. What am I supposed to do? Uh, bake a loaf of sourdough and try not to think about having the directions for the end of the world riding around in me? Oh, do, do you bake? Uh, nothing more complicated than instant brownies. Oh, that is too bad. I would love a warm loaf of bread right now. To break bread together would be more meaningful than the words of a hundred parchments. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. Family protects one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? You speak of family, mother. Where were you when I was betrayed? Pursuing your precious page as always. You were no better than Blaze or Mephisto. Had you listened to me earlier, you would not have been betrayed. I fear you have simply traded one problem for another. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on the mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You are right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning, and Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. No, that can't be. I had that dream, too. Maybe it was something we ate. Don't you mean someone? Hmm, I don't know. The stinks of a hex or a curse or something. If we all had the same nightmare, does that mean we all share the same subconscious neuroses? God, I hope not. The probability of every single one of us walking the same dream state is a billion trillion to one. It must mean something. Yeah, it means we might want to have a little chat with our friendly neighborhood hunter. Oh, I knew I should have let Mr. Murdoch copyright that for me. I still can't get that image out of my mind. Same here. And that's saying a lot these days. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this all. There is... the parchment. I knew that page would find a way of messing with our heads. Or maybe it was warning us about you-know-who. Did you have the dream? What dream? I'm here, if you want to talk about it. I'm assuming you had the same dream last night as the rest of us. I am pretty sure I did not. What was it? I'll let Wanda tell you. She's better at communicating those kinds of things. All I can say is, what I saw last night made me worry about you. I appreciate the concern, Robbie, but I'm alright. Whatever happened was just a dream. Yeah. You seem all right standing here in the light of day, but that dream last night? 
feels like too much of a coincidence that every single person in this abbey shared it. I wish I could explain it. Maybe it is the page, messing with us, trying to make us suspicious of each other. It is possible. The full effects of the Parchment of Power have gone largely unstudied. And they will remain unstudied. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be destroyed. So, you are not going to read it? Hell no. And not just because I suspect it's giving me bad dreams. Because I know whatever Blaze read set him off so hard that he betrayed us. The page most likely tricked him into believing the outcome was destined to be in Lilith's favor. And that's why I'm not going to read it. Like, ever. I think Wanda wants to talk to you. I, I, I should stop monopolizing your time and let her get a word in. Oh, and Hunter? Yes, Robbie? Take care of yourself, okay? Like, really take care. I always do.